Hey guys, this is Samurai Steven here. I know it's been a while since I've last put up my video, but I thought I'd put one up before the release of Battlefield 5. Now, there's a lot of rumours going around about what Battlefield actually is. Let's just be honest here, no one knows what Battlefield 5 is going to be about unless you actually work in dice. You know, so let's get the rumours out there. So, well first, there's thoughts of it being set in World War One, <coughs> which you know is not bad. And World War One isn't just about trench, trench warfare. There's lots of stories all around about it. You know, uh, they had the infamous game of football, which was played on Christmas Day in World War One. You know, by the enemy and the British and the Germans, blah blah blah. So that would be a really interesting thing to do. Uh, set in World War 2, I think that would be a really good change as well. You know, we've had so many modern warfare shooters, you know, it's with over 15, 30 attachments for a single gun, it's just freaking rid ridiculous, you know. If they're basic and simple, you know, that's it, that's what you get. But, you know, if they did a, a remastered version of Battlefield 1942, that could be pretty sweet. I would, that's what I would like to see happen to be honest. You know, uh, infinite, infamous landing on Omaha Beach. You know, 30 odd players or more going across the sand, tanks driving up as well, players running everywhere getting, you know, that would be an awesome thing to do. <coughs> Battlefield 5 2143, the follow up to 2142 obviously. That would be really good, you know, uh, you could have some really good future weapons. You know, like, you could have like jetpacks flying about everywhere, that'd be pretty cool. So, uh, weapons. Now we know by, but we know by playing Battlefield 3, there was easter eggs littered all over the place. You know, the, the main easter egg was this kind of floating ship, and it had uh, the symbol on the side of it from 2142. Battlefield 2142, to be exact. You know, if they've been working on that game, I'm not saying they have, but they've been working on that for a good few years now. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, what else can I say? Don't listen to any other rumours, guys. Let people know what the game is. Wait until Friday. Don't listen to anyone. Keep keep your hype motivated. Don't go into any sites where people are saying, oh, it's World War Two, it's Battlefield 2143, blah, blah, blah. Because if they get it wrong, they're going to look like dumbasses, let's just be fucking honest here. They're turning around saying, oh, it's Battlefield Eastern Front or Battlefield World War One. They get it wrong and they look like a moron. So don't listen to any rumors. Be like myself. Wait until Friday and then we'll see it. Could be worse, it could look like another fucking Call of Duty. Fucking trailer. Oh look, it's another trailer for Call of Duty. Where the same thing's been happening for the last uh, 10 years. You know, fuck, fuck that shit. <laughs> Even though they get the sales, it's the same style of gameplay over and over and over again. My best Call of Duty games were first two classics, one and two Call of Duty, one and two, and there was one for the PS2 Call of Duty Big Red one, I think it was called, and the Call of Duty 4, the first Modern Warfare. Not the rest of them, just the first Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That is the best one. But I'm all hyped up for Battlefield 5, can't wait to see what it's actually all about. So please guys, don't listen to any rumours or anything else. Wait until Friday, and then we'll see what exactly they are doing. So in the meantime, have a good one. This is Samurai Steven. Keep on gaming, I'll catch you again soon. Have a good one.